Welcome back to another episode of Fish in Florida. Today I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna be reviewing the Savage Gear 3D Bluegill. It's a really sick lure. It looks pretty sick. It's also pretty big. I'm hoping to get some pretty big fish on this. Hopefully I can do that, but before I get on the water to use this, let's do a little bit of a review on this. I'll just show you guys what the lure looks like and then a few different specs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. First of all, I'll show you guys what the action is. I'll just overlay it over the screen right now. The action's actually really good. It looks pretty sick. The lure itself looks pretty cool too. So yeah, it's a really cool bait coming out of the package. It looks really good. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to show you guys this up close right now. Then after that, we're going to get to the water and hopefully catch some fish on it. I'm about to show you guys the swim bait, but before I do, comment of the day should be popping up right about now. Go check out the channel, the link to it will be in the description. And if you guys want your own shout out, all you have to do is to subscribe and comment something nice. And I'll choose one of your comments randomly and shout you out. Now let's get into a close up of the swim bait. Alright guys, this is a swim bait. It looks pretty cool. As you can see, it looks, it's very realistic. It looks almost exactly like the bluegill we have here. It's dark, it has a few darker stripes and an orange belly. It has one normal hook and treble hook one thing i was worried about when i was buying this was that it would get stuck up and caught up in weeds with this treble hook but it actually does pretty good to avoid the weeds i ran it through a couple of weed patches and it held up pretty well i didn't have to keep pulling weeds off my hook so yeah that was really nice it's really easy to land a fish with this i was worried that once i set the hook and tried to reel them in i wouldn't be able to land them and the fish actually stay on the hook pretty well. When you set the hook, I got it usually with the trebles, but sometimes with this too. So both hooks were helpful. Oh yeah, as you guys can see, one thing I'm worried about is the durability. I have used this probably for like a week now. I've gone out three times, I wanna say, with this one mate and caught probably 15 fish. So yeah. The swimmate has worked. The eyes really, it's not really going to affect much that the eye fell off, but still, it's just a little, I don't know. Also, one major concern I have is, if you guys can see, there's a little rip right here at the top of the tail. And what might happen is if this gets some more and more ripped, over time the tail might fall off. That is a little worrisome, but other than that, this bait has held up great. It's caught a ton of fish and I love it so far. So now let's get into clips of fish I've caught with this bait. Oh my god. I had one on the finger. Got one on the swim bait. Oh my god. Good fish. Good fish. On the swim bait. On the swim bait. Okay, okay. Let's go. There we go, guys. I got a fish on the bluegill swim bait. Probably about a three. He's a long one. He'd be probably a four or five if he wasn't so skinny. He's pretty skinny and pretty long. The bluegill came right out. That's a good one. Solid one. Let's get a release. She goes. Go on. On this one, bait. Let's go. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, my gosh, you choked it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how did this little thing eat it so well? Another real skinny one though, that's weird. Let's get a release. There he goes. Got one on this one, mate. Oh, good one, good one. Oh yeah, that's a toad. Stay down. Oh my gosh. Let's go! Another good one on the swim bait. Alright guys, another good fish on the swim bait. Look at that. I'd say this one's like a two and a half. Maybe, yeah I'd say two and a half. 
Another good one. Oh my gosh, this swim bait's actually working way better than I thought it would. I've already got four bites and two really solid fish. Let's get a release. Got him. Good one. Good one. Oh yeah. No! <laughs> Guys, that was about a four or five pounder. That was a really nice fish. I'm the swim bait. Let's go. Sounds like a little guy. I don't know how these guys eat the swim bait. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Another big one. Let's go. All right, guys. Just got this solid one. Probably about a three or four, I'd say. I don't know. He wouldn't be a four, but he's really thick. It's a thick fish. Another really good one. I caught like three or four of these today. Let's get a release. There he goes. Jeez. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. A Savage Gear 3D Bluegill is a really sick bait. It worked really well. It has great action, and it caught a ton of quality fish for me. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to be using this a lot more. I definitely recommend it. It worked really well for me. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. You guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fish and Forest.